Do I need to install Windows again? That's a question that gets asked a lot and a lot of people wonder and sometimes you don't need to do it. Sometimes you do, but most times you do not. Now, how do you get around, you know, the pain of having to install Windows all over again because if you do that you got to bring back everything you know all your documents your pictures your games install all the programs it can be an enormous pain the you know what it can take a lot of time as well so i would recommend not reinstalling windows if you do not have to before i continue this Q&A video, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com, where we are having a giveaway. We always are. If you want to enter it, head on over to 3dgameman.com and click on the giveaway link that is at the top right-hand corner of the site. So, do you need to reinstall Windows 7? Probably not. And unless you're, you know, completely contaminated with viruses and everything's going completely wrong, uh, even then there's ways around it. You can always do a restore, a system restore. Uh, Google it to find out how to do that. Another option is to use a few programs to try and get your computer back to its normal working condition. And to do that, I would remove, uninstall all the programs that you really don't need. A lot of us clutter up our operating system with crap, you know, programs we just do not need to install. Visit all kinds of sites and, oh yeah, I need that, I need that, I need that, I need that. Next thing you know, you get a hundred programs installed and you don't need, you know, a quarter of them. So just uninstall, remove all those programs you do not need. Then after that is done, Go ahead and, you know, remove and delete any kind of files, documents you don't really need in your computer system to free up some disk space. As well, you want to download a program that is called CCleaner. You can get it at ccleaner.com. Uh, install it, run it, and analyze it. Analyze your computer system and remove anything it recommends to remove. It will clean up the registry and all kinds of stuff. It's fantastic. Excellent program. Of course, you all, after that's done, you know, hopefully it'll, the system will come back to, you know, condition that it was in before and operating uh, condition that you're acceptable with and everything is not, you know, gone uh, chaotic. Because a lot of times when people are looking at reinstalling the Windows uh, operating system, well, you know, things have gone really wrong. <laughs> and it's not good. I know sometimes your first thought is, ah, hell with this, let's just install it all again from scratch. And you you honestly, in most cases, you do not need to do that, especially with Windows 7. So C Cleaner, uh, grab that. After that, you really want to get a program that I use quite a bit, and it is called SpyBot. By the way, these programs are free. Uh, get that, scan your system. As well, you always want to have, you know, a decent internet security package. If not that, you want to have at least a really good antivirus program installed, um, you know, and do a scan both with the SpyBot program I mentioned as well. Do a, a scan of your complete system and make sure you don't have any viruses and that type of thing. And once you use CCleaner and SpyBot and your own antivirus or internet security package, your system should be clean, do a few reboots, and also you want to remember as well, update your system, update the operating system, update you know everything, the drivers, update the programs that you've installed, um, update, keep everything up to date, that's very, very important as well. And if you have an antivirus program, if you have an internet security package, remember, you always need to update that as well. It's no good to have you know old definitions that are not going to protect you. I hope this answers your question and keep them coming. If you have a question for me, head on over to 3dgameman.com and post it in the forum. I will provide a link to this Q&A video below and I welcome anyone to come over and you can post anonymously if you want to and you know give uh, give us some recommendations of what you've done if you got around you know not having to install Windows over again because I know I've done it and uh, as a last resort, and it can be so, so painful, but in most cases, you don't need to do it.